Happy fall. I'm so excited to kick off the fall season with this video. This is going to be my fall shop with me and haul of all the decor that I find this year. I'm so excited. I have my pumpkin spice latte here with me today and I got this yesterday actually but it was a venti because I had a free drink so I still had about half left because I couldn't finish all of it. It was so it's very sweet, so I I think I feel the age coming on. I used to be able to drink like two of those a day, but now I'm like, whoa, I can't even drink one whole one. But it's great because one will make, make two days go by instead of just the one, so it works. But anyways, I am very excited to take you along with me to shop today. I am going to be hitting up a few different stores. I'm thinking of hitting up HomeSense. I'm going to hit up Michael's. I might hit up another HomeSense because I have two very close to me, so I think I might hit both up. And then I know that I need to go to Spirit Halloween eventually, but I don't know that I'll be doing that today. I might hit up Winners, though, because there is a Winners near a home sense that I'm going to as well. But definitely Home Sense at Michaels, those are my two top priorities. I'm very excited to go there. And today I do want to be very strict with myself. I want to set a budget of only $50. I don't need much. I have so much decor from the previous years and I'm only really decorating my bedroom because I don't live in my own apartment just yet. So I don't have that much space to decorate. And I feel like my bedroom is already overflowing with pumpkins and fall goodies. So I am going to set a limit of $50. There are a few things that I am looking for in particular. I do have a list on my phone actually of what I am looking for. So I will read you out some of the things that I would like to pick up. So things to buy. I do need to buy a fall candle. I have two fall candles from last year, which is actually such a huge feat because I used to have so many candles and last year I told myself I wasn't going to buy any new candles until I finished the ones that I have. So one of the two I have is was a gift and that one's halfway done and the other that I bought is also halfway done. So I thought I'll just get one more because I do burn them throughout the year. So I know that those two will definitely burn out before next autumn arrives and I can buy new fall candles. So I wanna buy one and I'm thinking I'm gonna just get a soy candle and hopefully find one at HomeSense because, I don't know, I think I'm gonna try and start to, I think I'm gonna try and start to venture away from Bath & Body Works, not necessarily all the time. There are definitely things that I would like to purchase from Bath & Body Works, not today, but maybe in the future, but I don't know, I, I think that a nice fall candle from HomeSense that is soy and possibly cheaper would be the, the vibe. Um, another thing that I would love to buy, I have quite a few um, kitchen-y things on this list, I suppose, because I have so many decorations for my bedroom that I'm kind of venturing out into the kitchen, but also because I think one of my goals this autumn is to bake quite a bit, and I would love to bake any pumpkin goodies. That would be amazing. So I'd love to get a cute autumn-inspired apron. I don't know that I'll find one, but that would be fun, and I feel like HomeSense might have something like that. Um, you'll see I did get another kitchen item um, earlier in July, actually. Um, you'll see that part in the haul. And I just think an autumn apron could go with it, so that would be cute. Another thing would be Halloween cookie cutouts or muffin molds. Those I might be able to get at Dollarama. That's another store that I might be able to hit up because it's close to my other locations, and that would be a cheaper alternative to getting them at any other store, so that would be good. And a pumpkin waffle maker, the Dash pumpkin waffle maker. It's funny because Indigo had them in the beginning of like August and they've sold out. I think they're probably going to restock soon. So I don't know that I'll get it today or if I find it for cheaper elsewhere, that would be great. But if not, then I'll just wait for them to restock it. And then I've seen this really cute pumpkin blanket and I actually saw it in July when I went to HomeSense and bought two other things and I considered buying it and then said, no, you don't need this. But now... I just I thought of something that I could do with it so we'll see we'll see if it's in budget and we'll see if I find it and 
we'll have to make some tough decisions when we're there but I'm gonna stick on budget and I also want to do this just so that you know that you don't have to spend like a million dollars on pumpkins to make your house look cozy you can spend you know even just twenty dollars just on a few little things here and there to brighten up your space and also you can spread this out throughout the years if you even just spend twenty dollars today and twenty dollars next year and twenty dollars the year after like you'll see that you start to accumulate quite a bit so it doesn't have to all be in one i feel like when we see these videos on youtube you feel like you have to spend your entire paycheck on decor but it's not necessarily true and these videos are more to just inspire you show you where we've got some of our goodies from and if you Think that an idea is a good idea or if you really like a piece that you can go ahead and grab it yourself and also just to put you in the cozy fall mood it's September 1st and it's cold outside it's 15 degrees Celsius which I am so unbelievably happy about because it's sunny but it is still cool so I got my little cardigan on and I'm obsessed I have my pumpkin spice latte that I can drink hot without boiling it's gonna be a good day and it's gonna be a great season so let's just head out and get this stuff done <laughs> Home sense, home sense. I was gonna say home sense like success because I wanted to say home sense was a success. There were so many beautiful fall goodies in there. It was hard not to go crazy, especially in the mug section. I'm not allowed to buy mugs. I haven't allowed myself to buy any new, specifically autumn mugs because I think I honestly have almost 10 and I really don't need 10 fall themed mugs, um, especially when I don't have my own place and it's not like I'm hosting because then I could kind of, you know, if I was hosting like a little tea party or a coffee date and I, um, you know, brought a bunch of friends over, then we could have all of these fall festive mugs. That would make sense, but I don't have that. I don't have that yet, so I can't make that excuse. But Home Sense was definitely a success. I got some goodies. I'm very excited about it. I do not know exactly if I'm going to keep everything that I got, but I will show you everything that I got and then we will kind of decide once I play around and look at the decor that I've had from the previous years. But now we're on to Michael's and the dollar store. you 
so many pumpkin goodies in front of me it smells amazing it looks amazing and I'm so excited to show you what I got so I'm going to start off with Michaels at Michaels there were so many beautiful things and Michaels also has sales going on pretty much all the time and right now the majority of things were buy one get one free which is amazing and they had a lot of halloweeny decor as well which i think i'm starting to stray away from halloweeny decor i don't know if it's because i'm getting older or if i'm just heavily influenced by some of the other beautiful homes and decor pieces that i've seen on other youtubers channels especially like allison bickerstaff her home is always lovely for the fall time so i think i'm starting to stray away from that decor i have a lot of it which i'll show you as well like an overview of my previous year's fall decor but I think for the for the next few years I'm going to start going towards the more harvesty autumn-y Thanksgiving-y decor um, as well so anyways Michaels had lots of that so if you are interested in that kind of decor oh my gosh go to Michaels and get that deal but the thing that I got at Michaels which I was so excited to find were candles so I have these two candles right here they're beautiful I have a brown sugar vanilla and then I have pumpkin vanilla latte so you can see there is a theme lots of vanilla that one and that one and I love the lids they're very neutral and pretty and the colors are very neutral and pretty these were buy one get one free so they total basically one was $19.99 you get the other free so basically $10 each and they're both soy candles and they're 14.5 ounces so I think that they're pretty on par with the Bath and Body Works candles the size at least and they're three wick they're just gorgeous and they smell amazing and soy candles are better for you from what I've heard and I just I love the neutral I love the neutral packaging they're amazing and $10 for a candle I'm I'm sold so that was all I got from Michaels and I was very excited about that I also got a candle from HomeSense however I did um, end up I will be ending up returning it just because I found these other two candles at Michaels and I no longer need the candle from HomeSense so anyways let's start with the HomeSense goodies that I have in front of me here so the first thing that I have I actually got on a different day so anything that I purchased on another day I purchased in July so I know I was very ahead of myself however with HomeSense and these kinds of stores if they sell out they don't often guarantee that they're gonna restock so I saw it I bought it I was like yes but they wouldn't be included in my budget for the day because they were included in a different budget back in July so anyways I got this beautiful garland at HomeSense that day I'm so obsessed with it it is the cutest coziest garland and I love textures I think that that adds so much coziness to your space so I'm trying to gather some more of that so this was one of the things that I got that goes with that um, endeavor I suppose so I'm very excited about this they're very very cute and then the next thing that I got from HomeSense are these two beautiful pumpkins and they actually smell good so they have little beads inside of them and this one specifically I found randomly on a shelf not with other candles but I picked it up because I thought it was cute and then I smelled it and I'm obsessed with the smell of this candle I don't even know how to describe it it's kind of like it's kind of like somewhat sweet but also like a little bit like musky but very light musky I don't know it's very very sweet smelling um, I love it and so that's kind of what sold me on this candle and then I found this candle when I was walking by the candle section and I was like oh but these would go so cute together or if I had one on each side on like my desk or something so this is what they look like they're just so beautiful I love the little like leaf trim that this one has and the little cutouts I just think it's gorgeous and then this one as well is so pretty 
yeah I just thought they were very very cute and both of them were $9.99 each and then this garland was $16.99 just so you know and all of these prices are Canadian prices so if you're in the US then you just have to do that little calculation there but yes so those are the two little pumpkin decor pieces that I got and then I got this which I think I will be returning this because it does put me over budget for the day um, and I don't really need it, but it is beautiful. And I picked it up just because, just in case, you know, but it's this leaf garland and it lights up and I just think it's so lovely. And I thought I might, you know, weave this in with this garland. However, I don't think I need it. I do have some other lights from previous years as well and I think it's going to go back to the store so that somebody else who will appreciate it more will pick it, will be able to pick it up. But that was also $16.99 if you're um, considering getting it. And then the last two items from HomeSense are kitchen decor pieces or kitchen items and I'm very, very excited. So the first item I picked up in July as well when I bought the garland and they're these oven mitts. And I think these are so precious. They're so cute. I'm obsessed with them. They were $12.99 and I'm very excited to bake all of the pumpkin goodies this fall with those. And then today I found these beautiful cookie cutters. I'm so obsessed with these. These are just gorgeous. We have some leaves, a pumpkin, an apple, an acorn, a squirrel. The colors are just gorgeous. They're fabulous. I'm obsessed. I think these are so nice and I'm so excited to bake some pumpkin spice cookies, chocolate chip cookies, all of the fall goodies. So I'm very excited and I think I said but it was $7.99. And then continuing on with kitchen stuff, I went to Dollarama and Dollarama was very slim pickings which was quite surprising. I feel like by now they have a full stock of autumn decor as they do with all of the other seasonal decor they get but there wasn't that much to go through at Dollarama. Maybe it was the location that I went to, but I did pick these up and they're just little baking cups. Super cute. I've been loving baking muffins recently. And so I thought that these would just be very festive and very cute. And I also just love giving muffins to other people so like I love baking muffins for Matthew and his family and I thought that it would be kind of charming to just put the muffins in these cute festive little cups and you get 50 in each pack so I thought that that was perfect because you only really make a dozen muffins when you bake so it'll last me a very long time there were they were a dollar 25 each and then the last item of Halloween or fall decor that I bought is probably the most exciting and it was my bigger fall purchase for the year. I purchased this back in July and it is this beautiful duvet set. So this is kind of what it looks like and this is what it's supposed to look like. It's what your bed is supposed to look like once you put it on and you just have the pumpkins and it's reversible and it's gorgeous. I am so excited to use this. I found this on Pint Sized Beauty's page on TikTok and Instagram. Her room looks stunning for the autumn time. And she said that it was from Madeline, which is actually a UK uh, store and they don't ship to Canada. And they don't sell this anymore this year either. They sell a different version of it. So if you're in the UK, definitely check that out. But I got mine on eBay. I'm so excited. This is probably my most exciting piece. I feel like it's just gonna add so much fall flair to the room. So yeah, so if I calculate everything from today that I purchased, I think I might be slightly over budget, maybe $10 over budget, but I usually do give myself a little bit of leeway because you never know with tax, you know, how Canada is with their tax. Um, is that it? I think I added everything up and then obviously minus the garland that I will be giving back okay so without tax I was actually $49.60 so I was just under my $50 budget but then the tax brings me up to $56 so $6 over budget if you include tax but if you don't include tax I was actually just under 50 which is so satisfying and I'm very happy with that. Of course, again, like I said, the stuff that I got before, 
I didn't count in my budget, but if I did, my budget would have been a little bit over um, to about $100, I think. So there is that as well to think about. But yes, that is all of the pumpkin goods that I got. And now quickly, I wanted to show you some other pieces that I have for my bedding. So all of the pillows that I have from previous years. So I have a bag right here with them. And the first thing that I wanted to show you are just these funny little slippers that I got. And I think I got these from Amazon and they're just these little jack-o'-lantern slippers and I, I just thought they were cute they're huge they um they definitely they came from i think a, like from china and so i didn't really know and there were no reviews but they're cute and i think for a cute little halloween self-care night it'd be festive to put them on but yeah you know and then i have a whole bunch of pillows So the first two pillows that I have are these. So I have this one and this one says thankful and then this one says hello fall. Very cute, very autumnal and harvesty which is perfect because that goes with what my vibe is for the year. I think my bookshelf I might keep a little bit more Halloween-y because there's quite a few colors there and I like that about my bookshelf but then the other parts of my room, especially my bed, I'm going to try and keep more autumnal. So these ones are from Winners and fortunately I don't have any of the prices left but usually pumpkin, pumpkin, <laughs> usually pillows at Winners or HomeSense range from about $20 to $30 is what I would say so keep that in mind. And then I have this gorgeous pillow from HomeSense and this is what it looks like. I'm in love with this pillow it's one of my favorites and i actually still have the tag on it interestingly enough i just saw it oh <laughs> or the sticker was actually on this thing that you are supposed to cut off the pillow but i didn't so this pillow was 34.99 and i think i got this like two years ago and i think this was actually a gift from my mom which is so sweet and then the last pillow that i have is one from michael's I love this pillow, it is so cute. It says, welcome to the pumpkin patch with a little truck carrying pumpkins and I love that aesthetic. Trucks carrying pumpkins, trucks carrying trees, like Christmas trees, so cute. So I got this from Michaels I think two years ago as well. So those are all of my pillows. And now I'm just gonna show you a quick overview of the other things that I've accumulated from the previous years and you can kind of see exactly what I have if you wanted to know where things were from, if you liked something and you wanted to find something similar, that kind of a thing. And I'm not sure entirely if I'm going to be using all of my old decor or if I'll be donating it or selling some of it just because I have to see the way that it works with my space. However, I wanted you guys to see it first before I make any of those decisions, but I hope you guys enjoyed this portion of the video and seeing all of the fun new things that I've gotten, as well as my old bedding, and yeah, let's just get into the overview of past fall goodness. All right, so this is the overview of all the decor that I've gotten in the previous years. I am missing a few pieces. I think they might be down in storage and I just didn't see them when I brought all of this stuff up, so... I have to go and grab that, but not too much. I think there's like a witch's house that I'm missing and then string lights. And I think some of the living room decor that my family has. So most is here. So let's start. So I'm gonna start off here. So I have these lights. These are amazing. I think they, I don't know if they're from like Canadian Tire. I think they need batteries. I don't think that <laughs> they seem to be dead, but these are great. They're so cute. And I put these on my bookcase and then I have this cute little guy. He is from Dollarama from, I think I was genuinely in high school and I bought him. I have this quit your witch in sign, which is from Michael's not too keen on it anymore, to be honest. So I don't know if I'll be using that this year. I have this cute little witch and I've had her also since I was little. I don't even remember when I got her, but it was from this old store that doesn't even exist anymore. So yeah, that's kind of what she looks like. She's really cute. I like putting her on the bookshelf. And then I have this little ghost face. I have no idea with where this is from or if this was even mine or like my brother's, but somehow I got my hands on it. <laughs> 
And then I have these cute little shot glasses. They have jack-o'-lantern faces on them, and this is from HomeSense and great for a party. I have these beautiful jack-o'-lanterns with witch hats on them, and they also light up. Um, yeah, that. And they're super cute, and both of these are from Winners. And then everything in the middle here, all of these pumpkins, this little skeleton doing yoga, these lantern lights that I'm supposed to blow up, this beautiful candle dish that I use as a pencil holder. Yeah, it's so pretty with the leaves. And then also this leaf garland. That's all from the dollar store. So I'm pretty sure you can probably get the majority of this stuff there still. And then I have this jack-o'-lantern that I don't even remember getting, but he also lights up. And I think, I don't know if somebody gave me this, but he's probably also somewhat from Shoppers Drug Mart or something like that. I can't remember. And then I have this boo and um, you can put like candy into his mouth. I also am outgrowing him, but he is from Home Sense. I have this little candle holder, this owl candle holder from Bath and Body Works from so many years back. And then I have this Sanderson sister Funko Pop and they're basically surrounding a cauldron, um, you know, in that, like in that movie scene. And it is a movie moment Funko from Spirit Halloween, which is cute. And then I have all my mugs, and this is precisely the reason why I'm not allowed to buy any more fall mugs. I have this one from Indigo, which was a gift. I have this one, which I think is also from Indigo and was also a gift. I have this one from Home Sense. This is Happy Halloween. This one from Indigo, this little ghost, and they still sell this one, and they still sell this pumpkin one. And then I have this cutie, but first pumpkin spice, which was also a birthday gift and I think my first fall mug. This one is from Home Sense. And then this one was also a gift with little witch legs. And I think that this was from Winners. But yeah, that is my whole haul of older Halloween and fall decor. And I'm gonna see what we work with and what we like and what we're gonna be using. But if you did like any of these, I hope that you can find something similar or the same in stores now. So that is the end of my first fall video of the year. And I'm so, so excited for you to see all of the other fall goodness that I have planned to come out in September and October and even some in November. I cannot wait. This is my favorite season. I think that it has so much to offer, so much coziness to be had. and. I just think that it's so important to really look at every season and try and make the absolute most of it. Decorate for it if you can, make bucket lists for it if you can, just do seasonal activities, surround yourself with seasonal colors and seasonal scents. It just really makes you excited for what's to come and you'll always find yourself trying to soak up as much as possible and be present as much as possible throughout the days because you know that the season is short and you just want to make the most out of it and I think that that is one of the key to, keys to being present and staying very happy in life. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my fall decorate with me, which is the next video to come out after this one, as well as all my other fall content. And I hope you have a beautiful day. See you in my next video. Bye.